Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about what I do here and I'm also going to be talking to you guys about um, why I'm feeding all my fish, at least dry food because I haven't fed this thing when it's yet. I'm going to be feeding them live work today. Maybe I could do that in the video. Actually, I'll leave part of this video so you guys get a cool little look at it. Anyway, while I feed these guys, I'm going to be feeding them some dry flakes. I feed dry flakes a little bit, like I grab a pinch with my two fingers. And I just pinch it over on top. And there is a good amount of fish in here, so I built up a bunch. I do about three pinches. That should be good enough. And then at least these guys eat something else, and yeah, I hand feed my arrow one of which I'll show you guys in a bit. Anyway, so in this channel, um, I wanted to show you guys how I take care of my fish, what I do, how I make it work, and everything like that. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video here. But there's a little metal bar here. I created that myself. Um, I bend it in and everything like that myself because my aquarium actually the the brakes in the middle was cracked. I got this whole fish tank set up for free. It's 150 gallons. All I did had to do was just paint it. That's why you can see sometimes it's not completely. I'm not the best painter, but it's much better than the way it looks. Uh, I painted the background of the tank all black. Just spray paint. Um, it's pretty simple. These are live corals. Blah blah blah. If you guys want to see more, I, I'm gonna be actually doing more videos like that. I don't know if I want to keep painting my aquarium because if I don't really like it, I feel like it's a hassle of scraping off the paint with the blade, taking it off, whatever. But I find it excessive, like too much work for me. Anyway, let's go feed these guys. So in this tank, I actually uh, have, I had some kind of sickness, I don't know if it was sick or not, but I treated, I treated it for parasites and all the fish are looking a lot better. So that's a pretty good sign. Keep reading a little bit here. Anyway, um, I'm a college student, so I uh, don't have the time as much to, I'm a college student and I'm working, but I don't have as much free time as I would like to, to be dedicate to my videos and stuff like that. But I'm hoping you guys, as you guys are watching, you guys learn a couple of things, or if anything, you guys can also answer me questions, ask, ask me any questions you guys have in particular. Always, I'll be more than willing to answer them in the comments down below. In this tank, I actually have pumpkin fish that I feed uh, live. Um, snails, mystery snails, um, pet snails, that's what they call them at the pet store. I have a bunch, I put them in a little bucket, and they're reproducing just to feed these guys. Anyway. So, in this tank I have actually fish that I used to have outside in my 125 gallon aquarium that I also got for free. If you guys haven't seen the videos on this tank outside, you guys should watch that. All these fish were either given to me or I picked them up at the pet store. I have female bettas in here, I have um, goldfish, tetras, um, platys, I have Chinese um, algae eaters, I have platypus as well. I have a good amount of fish in there too. That's not their permanent home, they will be going back outside once the um, temperature gets better. If you have coolie loaches, I did a video on that too. Puffer fish that I ordered online from Aquahuna, I did a video on that one as well. Anyway, I, I do a lot of, I'm trying to do a lot more videos on ordering fish and stuff like that because when I first ordered my fish, I was so, so scared that it was going to go bad, it was, something was going to go wrong. Here we are with these guys. Um, hmm. It's gonna be a little difficult with the camera. Can you guys see? I have no idea, but I'm just gonna put the food on the floor and pinch some. Anyway, so I'm gonna be doing more videos of how I do my stuff because I like to be cost effective. I made um, lids to hold this, uh, these lights on, they're plastic lids. There's a video, there's lots of videos on how you create plastic lids, cheap lids, cheap, but they work to get the job done and they're light. That's like the number one thing for me. I just turned the lights off because I forgot to turn off the lights yesterday, so lights are going to be off. I only have two tanks in here. I have a little mini aquascape plant, uh, planted tanky here. I have some, let me see, I have some guppies in here and I have, an, I have a 
little aquascape down there. You guys should check those video out, that videos out if you haven't watched those yet. I have, a little, I have like two or three guppies in my shrimp tank, including some plecos. And in my 55 here, I have a bunch of breeders. I have a pleco colony of super reds, short fin super reds. I have baby fries in there. And I also have guppies and platies. I actually got those platies from someone who was giving them away. Five or six of them, and they're reproducing like crazy. Which I'm going to end up selling eventually. Just figuring out what's the best way of selling it. Because I don't want to do eBay. I heard there's a bunch of bad stuff with it, especially for the sellers. And stuff like that. I'm not saying they're bad, but I'm just... I've actually ordered it off of eBay before. I just... I heard of bad reviews on what this, what, uh, for the seller wise. How they get scammed, blah blah blah. This is my 55. My, sorry, my 75 gallon tank that I also got for free. That's another thing guys, um, I'm going to be posting another video on what I'm going to be doing because I didn't, I didn't start recording myself when I was doing this, but I built a better rack, as you can tell here. Uh, it's not the best better rack, but it's a lot better than the little cups that they have at Petco. These are one gallon containers, but the problem I have is leaks. It keeps leaking and I kind of didn't want to spend, think about it, 50 bulkheads at a time. That's a lot of money. So I used um, these weird little things, rubber, it's like a bulkhead that expands what you put inside. It's like a fraction of the price of the bulkhead. Anyway, this is going to be coming down because I've, I've got big plans. I want to actually make this whole wall full of tanks, big tanks, small tanks, breeding tanks, grow out tanks and stuff like that. I don't have that much space, but that's the future plan. Um, all running on a recirculating sump because I don't want to have to keep I'm doing water changes one by one, so with the sump, at least it has some good filtration instead of having 15, 20 um, filters, which will drain my electricity bill, go, making it go skyrocket. I have shrimp up there and stuff like that. I've done a few videos already on how I order fish off of websites, eBay, even from people all the way from Indonesia. I've got Transporter who helped me out with that. Actually, I don't know if you, if you guys haven't seen that video, you guys should check that video out, but. I actually was, had a little bit of a problem when I went away. I don't know exactly what happened, but in this tank, I had my trio in here. I had two females and one beautiful male. He was stunning, like long finage, no, no bit, no nipping, nothing like that. But I came home and now I only have one female. I lost the male and the other female, which sucks. But in this hobby, you know, you guys, sometimes stuff happens. Anyway, on the channel, I want to do a lot of DIYs, a lot of aquascapes, a lot of cheap aquascapes. I know you can make any tank really look good if you have enough money and willing to spend it, but that's not me. I'm not, a, I'm not crazy on spending a lot of money. Like, for this, I didn't want to spend much. All I did was put some PVC and two bulkheads and an overflow box. And then I made a sump out of a 10 gallon tank that I was given. In here, I was given a filter that goes in here. I bought the heater myself. The rocks were all given to me from tanks. These are from old tanks. The filter was given to me. The heater and the filter was given to me to this one. I have, um, what do you call this? I forgot the name. Anyway, most, basically you guys get the point. Most of the stuff that was, was given to me. And yeah, I'm not trying to spend a ridiculous amount of money. And if you guys are into that stuff, you guys should definitely subscribe because I'm getting, having a lot more stuff coming in. A lot more cool stuff, a lot more informational stuff, a lot of things that I could hopefully teach you guys, if not show you guys the experience I had with it. And again, if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm more than willing to answer any questions you guys have. And actually, if you guys have anything in particular, drop them down in the comments below if you guys want to see that. I'm more than willing to try new things, as long as they're not too pricey. But actually, if you guys could get this video up to, let's say, 50 likes, um, I'm gonna be do. I'll order another bunch load of fish. I'm talking about at least 50 of them. Yeah, you know what? I'll do. Every like gets a fish, fish or invertebrate. If you guys have shrimp or anything like that, you guys wanna see going through shipment. If you guys every like you guys get to this video, I will be getting one. I think I'm gonna doing aquahuna again because I was trying last time on aqua live aquarium. The shipping over there is ridiculous. They charge you for the box. They charge you for the shipping, overnight shipping. $30 to ship a trio of guppies was $90 in, all in, all in. And that was a little too pricey to me. I just think that's a little ridiculous, but 
Maybe you guys don't, but for me, that was a no-go. I have a lot of babies in here. Yeah. Anyway, if you guys stayed this long to watch the video, I, I thank you guys for that. Um, please drop a like if you like the video. If you guys have want to see anything in particular, don't forget to drop it down in the comments below. And please smash that subscribe button. It helps out a lot. I'm trying to grow this channel. And eventually, hopefully, see if I can um, expand. Because I got two black diamonds thing right there. And I'm hoping I can show you guys what I'm going to have to do when they get bigger. Because this is only a 150-gallon tank. And I'm thinking I want to expand to literally double this to 300 gallon tank. A little shorter, but a little wider. Hopefully, as a coffee stand. That's kind of the goal. If you guys have anything, any ideas, please let me know. Drop them down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching again.